what is up guys we are back with another video and as you can see this is another motherboard bios video so we'll be checking out the bios here on the asrock z490 extreme 4 motherboard this bios should be pretty much the same across all of asrock's z490 motherboards some features might not be in this bios you know based on different motherboards but overall it should be pretty much the same. Now, a lot of you guys have asked, like, how do I get into this BIOS? When you restart your computer or turn on your computer, just keep on he hitting the uh, delete button, just like mash it, and um, you'll get right into the BIOS. And you should be dropped right into this screen, which is easy mode. The easy mode is made for beginners, and it's made so that you can set certain things pretty easily. Um, without having to, you know, do a deep dive into the BIOS. So here we can see, you know, uh, what version of the BIOS. So we're running P1.20. Um, you, we can see our processor that we're running, processor speed, our total memory, our DRAM information. You can see we have G-Skill memory in there. And then one of the biggest things that you're gonna wanna do when you first build your system or get into the BIOS is set your XMP profile. So all you have to do, we already have it enabled, but um, maybe it, when you first turn your computer it'll be on auto you just hit this xmp profile button and you can see it's going to load our profile profile one storage configuration um, you can see we do have a drive installed all your drives will be here including your m dot drives you can enable or disable raid mode if you want over here we can see our cpu temperature in real time motherboard temperature cpu voltage at the top here we have a toggle to turn polychrome RGB on or off. By default, it will be on, but if you just wanna turn it off, you don't wanna mess with software, you can just hit off and it, I'm looking over at the board and it's off. Uh, really easy there. Also at the top, we can change our language and go into advanced mode, which we'll show you in a second. You also are going to get your motherboard temperature in real time and your CPU voltage in real time. So those things you wanna check out. We have our time and our date. Fan status, we can see we only have a CPU fan installed um, or running, and you can see that. We can change the fan setting here really quickly. Um, so what you can do is we have it on standard, you can go to performance, you can go to full speed, um, and the fan will go ahead and ramp up, and then you have silence, and then back to standard. Pretty easy to go ahead and do that. Under tools, you do have some you know easy to access tools. Instant flash will allow you to flash your BIOS from a USB flash drive. Internet flash will allow you to flash from the internet if you have internet connected to your PC. And then fantastic tuning um, allows you to fully tune your fan. So, you know, you saw we did that silent standard performance on the CPU fan, but um, you can do it on all of the fans and all of the headers that are on the board. And you have this nice little um, graph that will show you everything. And uh, under boot priority, so we only have one drive here. Um, but if we had multiple drives, all we had to do, you hit these little three uh, things right here and you can actually drag and drop your drive. So if you had more than one drive, you can set your boot priority really easily. Over here, uh, help information brings up all of like your hotkeys so you can see that. Um, here is load defaults, which is great to see in the easy mode. So if you mess something up, you can just load your defaults. Uh, save and exit, and then uh, discard changes right there. So you have all that stuff. And then to get into the advanced mode, you can hit this button or just hit F6 on your keyboard. And now we're in the advanced mode. So again, we have our main tab here, and this is gonna show you all of your, you know, stuff that's running, like processor and your memory. You do have my favorites. Um, we don't have anything in there really. Um, but you can add any setting in the BIOS to your My Favorites menu so you can easily access it, which I think is really great. Um, also, you have this description thing on the side. So as you go into different settings, you'll get information on that specific setting. So if you're not sure what it does, you can see it over here. OC Tweaker, if you're gonna be doing any overclocking, this is where you're gonna do it. You will see your targets. Um, for everything here. So if you're doing something, you change the setting, you can see what target you're going for, which is pretty nice. CPU configuration, you're gonna go into that. Again, by default, everything is on auto. Um, we'll scroll through the different settings that you can do, um, uh, you know, all of that. Now, if you are to overclock, 
the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is change your CPU ratio to typically all core and then set it for what it would wanna be. On this motherboard specifically, we were able to get up to 5.2 gigahertz across all of the cores. So we hit 52 and we hit enter. Now, some of the other things that you might wanna change if you are doing overclocking, uh, your TJ Maxx, you can put that all the way to 115. So 115 there. Long duration power limit, um, you wanna change these as well. So um, I don't know what the max on these are, but like you can put like, you know, whatever the, the max is in CPU current limits, uh, you might wanna change that to like max it out. Um, the 255.75, just max it out, um, especially with 10th gen processor. So that is everything in CPU. All of the CPU settings you want to finely tune your system. We'll go out of there, DRAM configuration. Um, we can actually see our memory information. So all of the memory information you can see on the modules you have installed. DRAM um, XMP. So you can go ahead and set your XMP profile here or just go back to auto. If it is on auto, you just hit enter and select your profile. It's that easy. Um, XMP optimization, you can turn on or off. And then here's all your timings down here as well. So you can change all your timings. You can fine tune all your timings. You can do all of that. And then a voltage configuration. So voltage mode, um, you're gonna, if you are overclocking, you're gonna wanna change voltage mode to OC mode. And then if you are setting a default uh, CPU voltage, you're gonna wanna change CPU core cache voltage to fixed mode and then put it in. So like a good starting point is 1.3 volts. You can go to 1.35 and you can see by default, it's gonna change your load level uh, calibration there as well. But you have all of your settings. Um, DRAM voltage is in, is in here as well. So all of the voltage settings, you can go ahead and change all of that. That is pretty much it for OC Tweaker. This is where you're gonna be doing all of your tuning. You can save up to 10 profiles as well. Um, so if you have like a gaming profile, overclocking profile, you can go ahead and do all of that. Into advanced CPU configuration, this is all of your CPU settings. So you wanna turn hyper-threading on or off, C states on or off, all that kind of stuff, you can set in here. Chipset configuration is everything that's on the board. So um, you can turn, you know, you can turn the onboard graphics on or off if you want to, uh, your link speeds, you know, everything here shared memory, you can turn the uh, the sound on or off, uh, HD audio on or off, things like that. You can go ahead and, you know, just turn everything on. And again, RGB LEDs on or off if you want in here. Storage configuration, this is all of your storage devices. You can see um, that we do have one storage device and you can actually go down and click into it and you know, turn it off as a hot plug and, and things like that you can see. And you can also see all the information on your drive, which is nice. Intel Thunderbolt, we don't have a Thunderbolt card in here. So Super IO, ACPI, USB. Everything is pretty much enabled by default um, on legacy USB support, which you would need. Um, you don't, you know, but you can enable or disable every USB header and port on the board if you want to. And TPM, we don't have a TPM device connected, but if we did, we could uh, set it up in here. Under tools, uh, again, polychrome RGB. We can actually get a full thing and we can go ahead and select the different settings that we want. You can see here, um, you know, all the different settings and the speed. Uh, apply to all, mm, there you go, it's, it's pretty simple. Um, there, you can actually email tech service if you want, um, if you're having an issue. Uh, RAID installer, SSD secure erase, which is great, and NVMe sanitation tool. If you are selling an old SSD, I would highly recommend running both of these tools uh, depending on your drive. Um, flashing the BIOS, super, super simple. So instant flash, um, Intel MEI flash, so this is gonna flash the Intel MEI. Um, internet flash and then network configuration. You wanna set this up if you wanna flash your BIOS uh, via the BIOS using internet flash, you can go ahead and set your network configuration. Hardware monitor gives you real time temperature, fan speed and voltages. So if something's going on in your system, you can go ahead and set all this up. 
You can do your tuning, as I said, for your fans. Um, and here's all your different fan modes. Um, if you want to configure it this way, I do like the, the other way in Fantastic Tuning, but you can go ahead and set all that up as well. Under security, you can set a supervisor password or a user password, set up secure boot. Under boot, uh, you can set your boot option priorities, fast boot, uh, boot from LAN, all that kind of stuff you can easily set up. And then under exit, we have our typical save changes, discard changes, load defaults, which is good. And then we do have boot override, which I like to see because of course, you should be installing Windows from a flash drive you set your boot override to your flash drive first and then when it does its restart it's not going to reboot to that flash drive it will boot to the correct drive so you have everything here it is very easy to navigate this bios everything is here i couldn't there wasn't a time where i didn't find a setting the easy mode it's nice to see easy mode oh, there's my dog there's nice to see easy mode on this board as well um so yeah, so I'm gonna get off here because my dog is barking. Um, but this is the BIOS again on the ASRock Z490 Extreme 4. If you have any questions about this BIOS, I know we didn't go into every setting, that's not what these videos are for, but if you have questions about a specific setting, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below and we'll definitely help you out with it. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And if you enjoy our tech content, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.